All right, you guys, welcome back. This is AI Collectibles. What I have for you today is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Utrom from the Mirage Comics run. Now, you get a little shot at the box, and on the back, you get another, you know, you get a few shots of the product, different poses. You also get on the bottom there other figures that have been released in this wave. And then you got a Krang on the side there, and number three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this guy opened up, laid out with his accessories in front of you, and we'll go through them. So stay tuned. Alright, so here's the Utrom outside of the package. And man, does he look menacing. <laughs> I'm really digging this figure. I'm digging the paint style of this figure. It's badass. And I gotta tell you, I'm glad I got two, because I'll probably be posing one of these up battle damaged and one of them not. So, while I got you here, let's quickly go over the accessories. So, he has four hands, right? So he's got, not a closed fist, but, you know, like an open fist, so he can hold something. He's got two of these for left and right. And if you look, it's got some really nice paint details on it. Sorry, it's zooming in on him. But, actually. Uh... Okay, just wanted to get a little more light on that so you can highlight it more. But, yeah, as you can see, it's got some really nice paint details on it. And some shading there, like wash. So it looks like burn marks or damage. And it carries through on the other hands as well. Like, these are typically the same. Like, if you look left and right, it's just... Oh, here, let me zoom in there. But this has, like, a wider grip, I guess. And this one has less of a wide grip. And this one also has... Oh, if I don't drop it. Has fingers that are not articulated, but softer plastic. So you can get that trigger finger out and get it around the gun. Which doesn't really have like a typical trigger finger, but it does have a little bump there. So it doesn't have like a hole to fit in, so it'll still hold the gun nicely. So we'll do that. You know, and pretty minimal. You can get it on there pretty easily, right? Get the fingers wrapped around there. Well, I missed the pinky, but whatever, I can mess with that later. So, and, yeah, here is the gun that he has. And it's got some nice little paint details on there. It's got some markings on it, like animated battle damage almost, right? Like it's well-worn, which is really nice. I like that. And it's across both sides. And even underneath, like, there's like the little aspects. I don't know if I can really get in there and see it unless I shine the light in there. But you can see even like the little paint details, like before they put this over, are still painted. Right? Which is really nice. So bravo Mecca on that. So yeah, and this like, the ring, so it almost has like a glowing look, but it doesn't. It just has like two different kinds of paint. Like it's kind of a darker yellow around the outside and then a lighter yellow on the tip. And then he has, I'm not sure what this is from, but he has a drinking cup with a little straw. And it has some really nice paint details on details, details on there as well. And some, you know, again, some animated or like comic weathering. Same with the straw there. And it's got like a black in there, like a black liquid. So pretty cool piece. And then you got the battle damage head, which is awesome man like it's got the eye hanging out there and it's like on a loose wire like i wouldn't mess with it too much but and he's got like a bunch of wires hanging out of his eyes which is pretty cool and then he's got some damage to his skull and some wires sticking out and if you look it's got that nice like cartoon comic you know paint apps to it which kind of heighten that cartoon look or comic look. 
of the shading. So yeah, you see how it's black there, white there. So it's really cool, man. And then also he comes with these little pieces of, I don't know, like, are they electronics? I guess. Like, at first when I saw this in the package, I was like, does he come with a stick of jerky? Um, but yeah, it's got some nice detail. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's got some nice little detail. It's red, but they also added some black wash to it. So it's pretty cool. And then there's the other piece. It's almost like a tuning fork or, you know, like a little wrench. And one side is darker than the other like some of the wash there so it almost looks like it's got like oil or something on it so and it's you know pretty consistent throughout so nice nice added detail there and then we got the figure oh and just picking him up i'm like holy shit he's actually pretty hefty so i mean you saw the head already so i'll just do a comparison there so here it is side by side the clean head and the destroyed head so for context right looks really cool but they went with similar paint apps and shading even though this one's damaged and that and that paint goes along like the whole figure front and back you know it really highlights and adds like that you know comic or you know like cartoon look to it you know, like the, if you ever read like an old comic, you know, a lot of the outlines and stuff are very heavily shaded, especially for the original TMT uh, comic book, because it was black and white as well. So, the only thing I find with the paint apps here, because they're pretty heavy, is that it kind of, without some heat, which I don't have access to at the moment, um... It kind of hinders the articulation until you warm it up. But he's still, you know, he's got like a ball joint up top, you know, which is nice. Arms go up and down, out a little bit. You know, I'm just going through basic articulation. It's got single jointed elbows and knees. There's no thigh cut, but the swivel's, you know, pretty decent in there, right? And it's nice because you can get like the paint apps in there. Like you can see the dark shading in there which is really nice and same with the toes you know you get the you get some ankle pivot and some back and forth well that one went the other one's pretty sticky so i'm gonna have to add some heat to it but yeah you know you get some nice forward and back motion um the waist joint yeah it's pretty sticky i don't want to push it in case i break it but you know that cut for the chest and stuff is pretty well with it and then crank comes out nice and easy so i'll show you the you know little crevice that he comes out of first so you know his home and it looks pretty cool it's got some nice little paint apps in there and stuff so they did a nice job with that and here's crank <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck me does he look angry it's got some nice yellow eyes you know some black pupils they they're inset quite a bit too and the teeth are nicely done you know they're just you know the mouth there's no you know it doesn't go in but those are still heightened details right and they're painted and man does he look menacing so and turn around kind of looks like pink hamburger so pretty neat and then he slides in and out of the stomach cavity pretty easy right but he stays in there sturdy enough oh fuck maybe not <laughs> can i do a blooper reel um first he's stuck in there pretty good uh, yeah see not too bad so i mean overall i'm really digging this line like, I was at the age where I was into Turtles, but more because of, you know, the action figures, the cartoon. I really wasn't into the black and white car comic book until much later. And even then, I haven't gone back and read it as an adult, which I should. I really got into the IDW, 
got into the other comics. My favorite iteration of the Turtles and what really got me into it was the original uh, live action movie with the Jim Henson puppets, the first one. I still love Secret of the Ooze. Didn't love it as much as the first one even back then. But I still enjoy it. The third one's fucking terrible. Skip it. I don't know what it is with third movies and trilogies. I know I'm going off the deep end here, but Robocop, awesome flick too. Highly enjoyable. Third one, complete and utter gutter trash. Terrible. I don't know. They, I don't know what happens. You know, the companies get greedy and try to push out too many movies too quick and the quality goes down. I really hope that doesn't happen with toys. <laughs> Because, man, NEC is killing it. The price. Keep in mind, I did get these guys from AliExpress. So keep that in mind. I got them for a reasonable price. Shipped to Canada. And they were like $32 Canadian each. Even with shipping, I paid, you know, whatever. Maybe 40 bucks each. Which is less than you can get them for here in Canada. Not including True, which is another... You know, fucking 20% on top. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> but, anyways. Back to my review. This figure is awesome. I really enjoy it. I'm glad I got two. Because I'm going to pose one with the battle damage head. And I'll put them on the shelf. And, yeah. Like, love this figure. Love the paint apps. The articulation, I mean. It's, it's single jointed. But it's a robot. Whatever. I can deal with it. It's not as good as like say the classified figure bat. Which still gives you double jointed knees and double jointed elbows. Pinless. And they're hidden. You can't even see them. But man I mean they're still. Whatever. This is style. It's weighty. You know like they're using good quality sturdy plastic. I know a lot of people complain about broken joints. Me I'm careful. I bend my figures at the joints. If something sticks, I don't push it. I throw a little bit of heat on there for my air dryer. Or, like, grab my old lady's blow dryer. And, you know, then it pops, right? Just takes a little bit of time. Be careful. If you don't get the give, don't push it. Usually stuff pops pretty easy without breaking. I haven't had a single neck of break, figure break. And knock on wood, I don't know, I probably got a couple hundred of them now. Between the TMT, TMNT... And horror line. Maybe I'm just lucky. But the quality of the plastic, the sturdiness, the heaviness, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel hollow. It feels solid. Right? So, I mean, for the price, the amount of accessories you get, extra head sculpts, the paint apps. Like, they don't skimp on them, man. Like, all the way across the back. You know? It's like the palms. You know, like, look at all the little brown and, like, gray details. And, you know, they even add some wash there so it looks a little worn. Like, it's fantastic, man. I love, I, I'm, I love NECA. I love this line. And I can't wait till they drop more, more Mirage figures. And I'm probably going to go back and grab some trades and start reading the Mirage line as well. So, anyways, that's all I got for you today. Uh... Yeah, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification below so you get notified when I put out new videos. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching my video. I'm out of here.